Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of the disciples, said, Why was this perfume not sold for three hundred denarii and the money given to the poor? Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When it comes to offering to God, Human reason wants to show how useless it is to offer anything to God. And the reason may insist on why we should not offer anything to God. Indeed, God does not lack anything. He has all. Moreover, whatever material offering would not be useful to God because He is spiritual. The reason will tell us not to waste time in prayer and thanksgiving. God knows what we want and need before we ask. It is God's job to give us good things. Instead, we should help each other in need. The reason will teach us this way. When the spirit of love does not guide human reason, human reason becomes a blind guide. This blind guide leads us away from God. Judas certainly knew how to reason, but he did not have the spirit of love. That is why he could not understand Mary's act of offering. For Judas, Mary's anointing Jesus with expensive perfume was nothing but a wasteful act of stupidity. Without the guidance of the spirit of love that comes from the Lord, we cannot go to him or remain in him. Without the true love of the Lord, the church would become a social welfare institution. But without the true love for the Lord, the church would not even remain as a charity organization. Once we forgot the Lord, the charity would become a means of building a higher ego and exercising one's power. The spirit of love teaches how to be wasteful for the Lord. It shows how to empty our selfish egos. It guides how to pour out our souls for others. Those in love waste. They waste time, energy, and money. But only through wasting we 
love. Mary wasted her life savings when we when she emptied the jar of perfume for the love of Christ. But remember, now Christ filled her soul. <laughs>